In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through how to get started with Wave. Wave is an online tool that makes it easy for you to share audio on social media. It's being used by podcasters, radio shows, musicians, marketers, and more. Today, we're going to look at how we can use Wave to turn an audio file into an animated video that's optimized for social media. And it looks something like this. Watch out, Crypto Land. There's a new podcast on the block. It's the ARK Crypto Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Renkin. All right. So in order to get started, you will need the audio file that you want to share, an image or artwork for your video, and you'll need a Wave account. Simply visit wave.co to sign up. There is a free plan that you can use to try out Wave, as well as premium plans in case you want to put this to more use. You can learn more about these different options at wave.co slash pricing. All right, but let's get started. So once you've logged into Wave, the very first option you have is to create your new video. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's give our video a title. My awesome video. And next, we're going to actually create a design. So designs are basically templates that you can use over and over again. It consists of an image, a waveform, and these are something you can use over and over for different audio files that you choose. You can see several that I've already created here, and you can just start with that if you'd like to. But today, we're actually going to start with a new design. Let's click on that. And you will have several options here as far as the dimensions of your video. Horizontal will be great for YouTube. Square is gonna be great for Instagram or Facebook. And of course, vertical for Instagram Stories or Snapchat. But for today, let's select Square. Next, you'll upload your background image. So you can uh, select the file from your computer or you can drag it in like so. And there it is. Next, we want to give it a name. So we'll just call it My Design. And we're going to add these waveform animations. Click on that, and you'll see that there are several different options to choose from. Let's see what we got here. Some pretty cool ones. For this one, I'm going to choose this circle one because I think that fits very well with my design. And you can resize it and shape it as you need to and drag it around. And you can also use your arrow keys to fine tune the exact position of it. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Next, we're going to actually add some color to that particular animation. Click here. I'm gonna choose black to match the, uh, the text there. And we can also now add a progress animation as well. Again, there's several different options here. I'm gonna select this one, kind of drag it up here, and actually kind of reshape it a little bit. So it's just kind of a little subtle at the top. Same with this one, you can change the colors. So let's find something that kind of matches in here. I think that's pretty good. And I think I'll go for the white for the background. Next, if you need to replace your image, you can do that. And you can also add text. You can select from several different fonts here. But for our purposes, I'm just going to delete that because we don't really need text in this one. Once you're finished with your design, you can go ahead and click Save. Great, our design is complete. So now what's left to do is add our audio. Let's click on Upload File here. I'm going to find my audio. And there's our audio. You can see the waveforms right here. And what you can actually do is clip your audio. You can drag the handlebars here and find the exact spot that you want to share on social media. We'll move this over here. The great thing is that you can actually fine tune it very easily with this plus and minus zoom button. So we'll listen here where we're at. Until it's you, I see. Just call me J All right, we want to move it over a little bit here. Just call me J That's actually pretty good. And now we can actually go back to the end of this clip very easily with this uh, back three seconds button. That way we don't have to keep 
listening to the entire thing to fine tune the ending here. So let's try and figure out where this is. Very close. Just call me Jacob. Go back to the end. Awesome. And you can see here exactly how long this video is, in case you're trying to go for a specific amount of seconds or minutes. So, once we're done, you can click Generate Video. And this might take just a, a minute or two to, to upload and to generate. Awesome, and our video is complete. Let's go ahead and preview it. Just call me Jacob. I'm a wanderer at heart. Just want to wake up from this delusion that I'm in. To think these images are stone can lead me to the hope that I know that only you can give. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now all that's left to do is to share your video on social media. You can actually go to this left-hand column and share your video directly to Facebook or Twitter. And also you can click the download button here in case you need to upload your video to YouTube or Instagram or LinkedIn or really anywhere that supports a video. So Wave really makes it so easy to share audio with your following in a way that's engaging and eye-catching. If you haven't already, be sure and visit wave.co. That's wave with two v's dot co. There you can sign up for a free account and get started today. We'll include a link for that in the description below. Also in the description, we'll provide our Instagram account. That way you can see some other examples of what creators like you are doing to reach their audience with Wave. Thank you so much for watching.